So it looks like Ebony is finally cracking down on botting. Now, just up front, I myself, I don't bot. I only have one city. I know a lot of people do, and I don't really have a problem with it. I don't really have any strong feelings one way or the other. But Ebony doesn't like it, and it looks like they're finally trying to do something about it. Specifically out of this uh, message, I think the most important part is that after the servers have been open for 30 days, they're going to enter a full status, and that servers in that status are going to have restrictions on account creation, migration to the server, and other related activities. Now, my question is, what are these restrictions? It doesn't say that they're, like, banned from joining the server, but I'm curious what they mean by restrictions. So we'll have to wait and see what they actually implement. And then, what is the other related activities they're referring to? Uh, I don't really know what they could be insinuating. Maybe uh, account swapping. But I don't know how they would track that other through IP tracing. But a VPN will get rid of that real quick. So yeah, I'm not really sure what they're planning on doing with this. But it does look like they're trying to do something. Now what I'm wondering is, what do y'all guys think about this? So if we look at the like to dislike ratio for it, the people that are looking at this in game, the more casual players, uh, looks to like they're liking it more. I have a feeling that people that are on YouTube, a little bit more in depth in the game, they're going to be more positive towards the botting aspect. And I feel like it's going to be a little bit skewed between the casual players and the more competitive players, competitive players preferring botting. My problem with all of this is that it doesn't really address the issue. Because 30 days after the service created, well, what we're going to see is if you want to start botting seriously, people are going to move to a new server, create all the accounts they need. They're going to bot with those accounts, and nothing's going to change. So it's really only going to cut off people that are, have been in a server for a while that want to start botting. It's going to prevent them from doing it. But that puts them at a disadvantage for people that have been doing it since the beginning. So I don't really think it solves the problem. I suppose if they get good enough so that they can ban all the bought farm accounts and they don't have a way to get back in, that could be a solution. But I don't really have a lot of confidence in their abilities, to be honest. Uh, I think there's a better solution that they're not using. And they probably won't use because it's not good for their financial side. Uh, that would be... Give people a reason not to bot. Take away the incentive. The main incentive for botting is that resources are so hard to get. And that, you know, it's easy to get a shit ton of resources just from botting. But what if we implemented botting into the game in its own unique way? What if, instead of your subordinate cities producing gold, we have a system where they produce, like, resources as well? And enough resources so that they can keep up with the bot accounts so that you don't really need to bot you can just use your subordinate cities for that instead because that kind of in my mind the idea of a subordinate city which is a city that works for you that's kind of the same thing as an alt account it's just another city that works for you so I feel like they should kind of fulfill the same goal just kind of make it official give us a system where we can use it and get resources in a fair way I don't think this is going to fix anything, to be honest. I think it's just going to make uh, it more skewed for people that join a server and know what they're doing versus people that just join the game, and I don't think that's going to be very good for player retention in the long run. So that's my thoughts on this, just real quick. Uh, leave your comments down below. I'm going to see what y'all think of botting, whether you're for it, against it, thoughts and opinions. and. Do you think that this is a good change? Do you think that this is an effective way to combat it? Or do you think it's not going to do anything? That's all I got for today. And I'll uh, catch you all in the next one.